Welcome to the Wicked Gamer Hand Collector. It's just awesome that you're tuning in. Yes, because we're going to do a Nintendo Switch Lite unboxing. We're going to play around with it and just want to give my personal opinion about it. So yeah, I waited quite some time. Finally, 2020, we're going to do an unboxing and I'm going to tell you what I think of Nintendo Switch Lite. So let's begin the video with the unboxing and what are we going to get inside the box. I do like the packaging itself, it's very tiny compared with the original packaging of the Nintendo Switch. Alright, so let's turn it around, otherwise my Switch will fall out. Alright, and here we have the Switch. Yep, alright, I have seen it so many times on videos, but I have never had it in my hands. So I'm very pleased to do this today. As you can see here, the handheld itself. Okay, and let's see what's more inside. You, we go. This is the way how to open it up. I want to keep the box in perfect condition. Ooh, very nice. Normally I say toilet paper metal, but it's more like toilet paper metal deluxe. Yep, nobody's gonna read it. Okay, so the power supply is like always all Nintendo products, high quality, nothing wrong with it. But there was something that I did notice. If I compare the power supply with my original Nintendo Switch, it's still different, not on the outside, it looks exactly the same. But when you're looking at the specification, we'll see that it has a 5 volt output. And the Nintendo Switch version, the deluxe or the normal version, has also a 19.5 volt. Yeah, so it's quite interesting, so you can't use, uh, let's say, you can swap them out. Finally the moment is here, yeah. Okay, so this thing is quite light, so the name says it already, Nintendo Switch Lite, and it is always very light. Okay, hmm, I must say, I like it. But let's talk about specification, because with the Nintendo Switch Lite, we did some changes. So to begin with, the Nintendo Switch Lite comes in different colors, as you can see here on the page, and they will release in the future, let's say, a custom edition. But as you can see, we don't have Joy-Cons, we don't have vibration function, we can't use it like a game console. As you can see, the measurement of the LCD are 5.5 inch LCD. It still has the same resolution, 1280 by 720. But we will do a complete side-by-side -side comparison with the original Switch, so I can show you what are the differences with the image or the picture quality and the sound. But in this video, I just wanted to do an overview. What do I think of it? And I ordered this version because I just want to have the gray. Maybe in the future we'll do this casing mod. But in general I don't need to, because I just like the culture itself. So these are coming with, so I understand, the first generation joysticks. The buttons are slightly different, but it feels like real Nintendo quality. Man, and they finally give us a good D-pad. I'm very curious how this is going to play. So the analog stick, everything feels very nice. At the top we're having all the connections, like the original Switch like the For shoulder buttons, the input for the cards. Headphone, volume control, and the on and off switch. And then we're having here the Type-C connection, as you can see over here. That is for charging. And we're having here the input for the CF card. But I'm very curious how this is going to sound. If this is going to be the same quality like the original switch. Okay, so let's power it on. And let's turn it on and let's set it up because we're having the new Nintendo Switch so we need to set it up. I will see if I can connect my old Nintendo Switch account so we can play some games. Alright so boot up and we're going to skip the intro. Yep. And let's press start and let it go. To begin with we're going to choose the language. I'm going to choose English. Yeah I don't know why it is but I'm always choosing everything in English. Okay, choose the time zone and I'm ready to go. Searching for the network that we're going to do, connect to the Wi-Fi because when we are connected with the Wi-Fi, I know for sure this thing is going to ask me for an update, like always. Like basically everything that you need to play or install, you need to update. Alright, so when the system is booted up, you're going to get the option to create a new account or you just want to, let's say, create or import a Nintendo account. So that are the two options that you're having. You need a make account. You need it. So what I do hope is that I can use my account from a Nintendo Switch on the Nintendo Lite. That's something I will show you in an other video, but okay. Okay, and again, yep, of course it needed to update. Yeah, I think this is just because it's already on stock for quite some time and they already released some updates. No, I don't want to have the Nintendo maybe later on. You can skip it, or you can, for example, if you want to use this for your children, you can set it up, 
Very cool that Nintendo gives you this option. Press the home button. All right, now we're ready. But there is something that I need to point out. I need it first to update it. And then I can add my Nintendo account. So you need to create more like an offline account, update it, and then you can finally use your Nintendo account. A little bit annoying, but that is something you need to realize and that you need to do. There is no other way. Okie dokie. So what we're going to do is fill in the account information. If you already have an account, of course, fill it in, log in, and you are ready to go. So that's what we're going to do. Let's see if it loads up. Yep, it sees my account. Okay, pretty cool. Oh, it's choosing Bowser. I love Bowser, by the way. He's badass. And let's load up the account so we can start with playing some games. Yes, please. All right. So what you can do, that is something you need to real just decide for yourself. You can remove the account or put them in an order like this because yeah wicked g gamer collector is my main account all right so i'm just going to leave this account on it simply if somebody wants to play my own nintendo switch they can use the second account all right so let's put in the game and yes push it right in yep okay and i'm ready to go and of course it needed an update all right, so the display itself looks slightly different and not the size, but just the colors. But we'll see it in the comparison when I'm doing it in a different video. But in general, I love the display. It looks amazing. It looks colorful and I'm personally very pleased with it. Okay, so let's play a little bit of Sonic Mania. I really love this game. It looks colorful, so it's a perfect game to test out. I love Sonic. Oh, hell yeah. But compared with the original Switch, we're having now a D-pad, and I love the D-pad. It is something they needed to do with the original Switch. Or at least give us some Joy-Cons that we can buy with a real D-pad. So if you're looking at, let's say, the buttons, the membrane buttons, give them a completely new way to play. The Nintendo Switch Lite is something that is not really new. And what I mean with this is that when you're looking at all the lineups like Game Boy, Nintendo DS, they're doing it over and over again, making more like a revision of models. And this thing, I like it. It's indeed light. It has not all the functionality like the original Switch, but still, if you're searching for a handheld mode, I just want to have it purely for the handheld. I think this thing is pretty cool because it's just smaller. It still has a very nice display. Yeah, and it's a completely new way to play in my opinion. I like for what it is. Let me know what do you think of this. Do you own a Nintendo Switch Lite or original one? Drop it in the comments. But I thank you for watching. Consider subscribing. Hit that little bell. Come on with the Wicked family. It will be great to have you here. Okay. And see you in the next video.